Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 1st, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and yet another year. Welcome to 2025. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and of course, happy new year to all of my friends and family across this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Sorry so much for the little break there in between during the holidays, but it was much needed and I'm feeling much rested and better now. So thank you for tuning in. Always starting out here with the Daily Do with the last, well, we're showing the last seven days of imagery here of our sun as it got very active over the past three days. This is showing the last three hours. You can see fiery, bright sunspot regions that are now Earth-facing. We also have coronal holes, a minor X-class solar flare to report, and multiple M-class solar flares right now. Right into 2025, solar cycle 25. Here we are, Earth-facing coronal holes, big one north of the equator. Watch for increased solar wind speeds. We're already seeing that. With the most recent coronal mass ejection, it came towards our planet. Amazing images here brought to you by Go 16 and SUV, mixed with daily events worldwide. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you taking the time to stay aware and prepared here with space weather updates, earthquakes, volcanoes, and of course, world weather. We've got an interesting show ahead of you so stay tuned let's get right into the space weather conditions currently we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected as well level four severe geomagnetic storm impacts expected tonight solar winds are now coming in at 524 kilometers per second amped right up folks solar x-ray flux showing a strong m class solar flare long duration that's what put us into the r1 and here is the geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP8. Having a look here at our solar winds showing on the left side, wind speeds on the right side, the pressure that our planet is under. And again, these solar winds are smashing our planet at over 500 kilometers per second right now. So immense amount of pressure. Carrying on here, looking at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing the coronal mass ejections that took off from the sun back on the 30th and are arriving tonight. So if you have clear skies, you will see the northern lights and aurora borealis if the conditions are right across the northern hemisphere and southern. Big coronal mass ejections. Nothing like what we've seen already, but still. Quite a big show, and we'll be putting on a show tonight. Look at the uh, current ISWA space prediction spiral. And also showing the most recent impact on the right-hand side. Other than that, no new CMEs have been thwarted our way. Having a look at Lasco 3, this is showing the last seven days since the 24th of December, as there were some coronal mass ejections on the 25th, the 26th, carrying on 27th, 28th. So it was a very busy week for space weather and as well earthquakes and volcanoes. Wait until you see what I'm about to show you when it comes to volcanoes and the sulfur emissions that they do produce. Amazing images here of our sun, space weather, the last seven days. All right, carrying on here, let's have start at earthquakes. Largest being a 6.1 earthquake here at South Sandwich Islands at the Michael Volcano, which is erupting right now. North of there as well, a 5.2 earthquake, Tristan da Cunha. Also, there is a... North African volcano that has erupted here, the Somalia Plate, multiple earthquakes through the region. And just wait, I'm not sure exactly where this large volcanic event was or if it was multiple. 
we have a sulfur emissions problem. Stay tuned. Carrying on here with earthquakes. Earthquakes rocking Vanuatu. Quiet all across the Philippines right now. 5.6 earthquake there, Vanuatu. Sorry, the others were Papua New Guinea. And here's the deepest earthquake today. 4.3. Wallace and Fortuna. 413 kilometer depth. Quiet Hawaii, but still erupting. United States. USGS is reporting 230 earthquakes right now across the map. And notable earthquakes up into the northwest region of California and off the coast. Minor activity. South American plate. 4.4 there, Argentina. But notable earthquakes, the African plate. As well, the largest earthquake this week was a 6.1, and that was north of Japan, in between Japan and Kamchatka. Right there. And then we did just have the 6.2 earthquake today, South Sandwich Islands, at the Michael Volcano. And look at all these earthquakes. This has been happening all week long, and this was a region I had forecasted and have been watching for the past month. So stay tuned, my friends and family. We are in solar cycle 25, which is the solar maximum. And this is all connected, my folks. We are connected. We are affected. And much love to you all. And thank you for tuning in. This is the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Now, if you all have been watching my channel for a while, this is the sulfur dioxide emissions map. And it is caked right now. Our atmosphere is sulfur soup. If you're looking at this and you've seen it before, you've never seen it like this before. That is some very thick sulfur dioxide emissions coming out of everywhere, it looks like. There must have been a large volcanic eruption either in Africa or maybe these are emissions from Kilauea. Could have been the Caribbean as well, but stay tuned. We're going to have to give a big volcanic activity report coming soon to find out exactly what erupted over the last few days, because we only have our regular active and erupting volcanoes, which there are 69. But look at this map. This is a little bit insane. Never seen it like this. Last time I saw something so drastic was when the Hongatunga volcano erupted. Also, when Iceland erupted. But wow, our air is nasty right now. Now let's have a look at world weather here. Big nor'easter moving up into the Atlantic provinces and Quebec. And that's going to carry on. High pressure ridge drying things out throughout the week. And watch for an Alberta clipper. Long range forecast coming in on the 7th across Canada. Other than that, it's going to be pretty dry but cold. And then some big systems here moving across the North Atlantic Heading into parts of Central Europe and then rolling through the Mediterranean. Watch for some pretty strong wind gusts and a lot of moisture. This is showing the next seven days for low pressure systems, which bring rain and high pressure, of course, brings dry air. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, and Africa. No major typhoons forming, but pretty strong system in the North Pacific. Long-range forecast shows another one developing here. Just a grazing Japan. This is Mike with your Daily Do. Hope you enjoyed the forecast and all of the updates here with earthquakes and space weather. And much love. Thanks for watching. Stay prepared.